The signatures in these boxes could be the beginning of big changes for the way DISD is run. It is the latest chapter in the Home Rule debate. Today, DISD said it verified more than 24,000 signatures, 24,650 signatures in support of creating a Home Rule charter. That was the required number to order the school board to appoint a charter commission. And tonight, the groups for and against Home Rule are going to make their cases known to the board. Fox Wars' Calvert Collins joins us from BISD headquarters. Calvert. That's exactly right, Clarice. At about five minutes, in fact, those presentations are going to begin. And very importantly tonight, the school board will vote to accept or deny those petitions that were counted over the last few days. But again, this ball is already rolling in favor of a new home rule charter uh, being written for the district. Now, uh, the school board has 30 days to pick a 15-member commission made up of teachers and DISD parents. The district will pick the four teachers, but it's up to the trustees as to how the other 11 are chosen. This group will be in charge of writing a, new, a basic new constitution of sorts for DISD that would be put on the November ballot for voters to approve. Oh, they may not want to sift through potentially hundreds of applications that come from people online to determine if they need to appoint them to the commission. They may want to go with their own appointees. Support Our Public Schools is the privately funded organization behind those petitions, and it wants the school year to start and end earlier. It also wants more curriculum flex flexibility than what TEA requires. It also wants school board elections moved from May to November and the ability to fire trustees if achievement fails. Now, the other group presenting after Support Our Public Schools is a recently formed group called Our Communities, Our Schools. Now, its initiatives have not been known publicly or made public in the past few weeks since it got started. So we will be uh, giving you an update on what both sides presented coming up at 6 o'clock. Clarice. All right, Calvert, we look forward to your coverage tonight. As the school board trustees arrive for tonight's meeting, they face a protest by cafeteria and custodian staff. The workers are rallying for higher pay. The union that represents them says many of these employees get paid less than $10 an hour, and they only work 25 to 30 hours a week. The protest is called Project Fair Pay. Tonight's meeting is the last one before the board votes on the final 2014-2015 budget. Now you don't want to... Also at tonight's meeting, DISD Superintendent Mike Miles expected to present his teacher evaluation program. He's going to talk about how teachers will be recruited, paid, and measured for their performance. The board will discuss the plan, but it's not expected to be voted on tonight.